Martini Whisperer here. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode of Sipping Time, I'm continuing my look at various books which I find really, really useful both as a resource and for inspiration. In this episode, uh, we're looking at some books around uh, Australian spirits and gins, reference guides in general. The first one I draw your attention to, and this is a bit of a giveaway of all these little tabs here, how useful I found this book, uh, is by an Australian writer called Luke McCarthy, called The Australian Spirits Guide. It popped up last year. Um, and it was the first of its kind to, to appear. And what he's done is a bit of an overview about the Australian distilling industry, which has emerged very, this new wave since the mid-90s to a very extraordinary extent it is now. And shameless plug, if you visit my website, I keep a little directory of all the distillers in Australia. I've done it every couple of weeks, so all the gin makers, whiskey, vodka, rum, vermouth as well, along with New Zealand and Japanese uh, gin makers as well. But anyways, um, and reviews and links back to their respective websites. And it's a fast moving feast that just, just keeps evolving. But anyway, so he put together this really definitive guide uh, and giving profiles about some of the leading distillers um, at the time and their backstory and what they make and so forth. Um, and it's across all the genres. So the rum makers and the whiskey makers and the gin and so forth. So a really, really good overview um, and a bit of history also of the industry itself going way back when. So it's a really interesting story back from the colonial times forward. So you can find this one. It's a really good reference guide. Another book uh, that I found really useful and had a privilege of actually, shameless plug, being in it, um, by a colleague of mine called David Box out of Melbourne. And he produced this beautiful book called The Australian Gin Guide. This is the first ever, again, a debut in Australia. And I had the privilege of um, hosting the um, launch at Australian Parliament House here in Canberra last year. And what David has done, the real labour of love here, is basically a two-page profile of uh, many of the distillers who produce Australian gin around Australia, um, all about them, what they make, where they're from, their backstory, their inspiration, and so on, um, and a maps and where you can find them and so on. So it's a terrific uh, it's a terrific resource, of course, there's you know, famous Four Pillars guys in here, of course, and a whole bunch of merging distillers as well. Uh, there's also... Uh, Articles about um, how gin is made, and I've got some uh, insights into cocktail making and great gin recipes as well. So I was honoured to be invited to be um, to participate in the book. So this is a terrific book. It still is all around Australia. Australian Gin Guide, first ever, and I think it plans to update it every year or so. So look out for that. Great read. Another book I've had for a while, but I keep coming back to, is uh, by an American writer called Aaron Knoll, um, The Art and Craft of Artisan Revival. Gins. Now it's a beautiful book and what's really great about this book is besides he goes into the various styles of gin around the world um, and how they're made and so forth and his history of course of gin and aged gin and barrel aged gin and Jennifer Jim and old Tom Gin and the rest. Um, but uh, it's a bit of an encyclopedia on selected gins from around the world. And so that's terrific. So if I'm looking up, uh, want to do a, an Instagram post or something on Facebook or whatever like that, I can just dip into this and chances are I'll find some really good insights around that so I don't make stuff up, basically. Um, so this is a really great yarn and it's got a good index, American gins, German gins, Scandinavian gins, Australian gins, of course, and the rest. So a real great work. So Aaron, uh, love your work, sir. Uh, for a gin 300, really good. And the last one on the list is um, something more broader, basically, and this is really about craft spirits in general. So I do edge craft spirit education, and and so I'm across the subject happily. But it's always good to go back to the, the basics and so forth. So this book is a little bit combination of the above what we've been talking about. In that he t um, this is by a gentleman called Eric Grossman. It's called Craft Spirits. Um, and what's great about this book is a couple of things. One, it has Good insights and really nice laid out about how different types of spirits are made, whether it's rum or vodka or gin, of course, whiskey. So that the science behind the making of the spirits, um, how they age, different types of stills, um, and all those sort of processes. Um, and then obviously a selected range of craft spirits or different genres around the world. And uh, and then happily, great cocktail recipes to go with each one. So if you've got a brandy drinker or a whiskey drinker or a rum drinker, you can kind of find what you need for a bit of inspiration. So I, again, I dip into this sometimes, agave, and you can never know enough, really. Um, so I really recommend this one. So Eric Grossman, Craft Spirits, Know Your Makers, etc. I find that a really handy resource. So anyway, look out for the other uh, episodes in this series about the Martini books. 
uh, and we've got another one about cocktails and um, gin, more gin. So stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.